Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another makeup tutorial inspired by a music video. The one I worked off of was Cheryl Cole's new music video, Crazy Stupid Love. It's a really exciting and fun new music video, and her makeup in it is amazing. It is this gorgeous, colorful eye with a very orange lid and a lot of red and black tone, so it's very exciting, very different from what I normally would do. And her lips in half of it are more of a nude pink color. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a very dark music video, um, so the Lighting's not the best, but the, fo the photo stills I worked off of, um, this looks like a very similar color lip, and I will have all those photos linked down below if you'd like to see how well I did. <laughs> and for the other half of the video, she's got a very dark red lip on. Um, you could obviously do whichever color you liked. I just thought the pink lip on me would be a little more flattering than a really dark, vampish red. Obviously, Cheryl Cole and I look nothing whatsoever alike. But I was inspired by her makeup, and this is the what I was able to come up with. I had a ton of fun doing this, and I actually like this look on me way more than I expected. Um, I didn't think an orange eye and um, would look very good on me, but I think it was fun to do. I think this is a great makeup look for a party or for going out clubbing. Not that I'm a big fan of either of those activities, but it is a really fun makeup look. And if you have an occasion for it, I think it is extraordinarily awesome. I think it looks awesome really intense and fun and cool, but it's actually not that complicated. So if you'd like to see how I did this look, just keep watching. Bye guys. I started off with a color tattoo from Maybelline in the shade Fierce and Tangy. Mine was dry when I bought it, so if you have a dry cream product, just get a fair amount on your fingers and work it between them to warm it up and make it more emollient. I just applied it straight to my eyelid from my fingertips and kept it very vibrant and packed on on my eyelid, which is how it appeared in the photos I'm working off of on Cheryl's eyes. And then I just kind of lightly blended my finger to make sure there weren't any sharp lines between orange and no orange. And as difficult as this color is to work with, I will say this for all the makeup I was wearing, it lasted 12 plus hours in 90 plus degree heat and high humidity. So I can vouch that this makeup look will last a long time if you want it. a long lasting makeup look. I would highly recommend this one. And then I went with a large crease brush and Star Violet from MAC, which my camera's not the best and I'm using the sun as my lighting, so it's much more red toned in real life than my camera is picking up, which is very, very similar to the photos I was working off of, the color that Cheryl had in her crease. So I'm just going to make sure that there isn't a gap between the orange and this reddish color, and I'm working on a very diagonal. I'm starting at the outer corner of my eye and working my way up towards the front of my eyebrow. All of her eye makeup was very kind of elongated and very sharply diagonal. So this is a really pretty look. It makes your eyes look really big, and I love that kind of makeup look. And I'm just making sure to blend between the reddish color and the orange color so there aren't any really harsh lines between the two. Then I went in with a matte black eyeshadow and a small angled brush and I started out by sketching in where my cat eye eyeliner is going to go. If you are not super confident with liquid eyeliner, this is a really great way to have a more forgiving medium before you go in with liquid eyeliner. If you start out with an eyeshadow, you can really just easily sketch in your layout. If you make a mistake, obviously eyeshadow is easier to clean up than liquid eyeliner. It also enhances the look a little bit. Straight black eyeliner can look a little bit jarring. This makes it look that much more together, if that makes sense. <laughs> And then where the end of my cat eye stops, I'm going to start dragging that black eyeshadow in through my crease. Cheryl almost had a cut crease. It's not exactly a traditional cut crease, but it's very, very similar. So I'm just using that same small angle brush to start blending in that black eyeshadow through my crease. And then I go back in with my blending brush and blend that black so there aren't any gaps or missing spots and it's very soft and well blended. It seems like a million steps, I know, but it makes your eye look look that much more together. Pulled together, something along those lines. And then I go back in to make sure I didn't lose any of the intensity in my cat eye and to add a bit more color through my crease so that dark definition is not lost. Then I go in with a matte cream eyeshadow as my highlight just to make sure that the eyeshadow from the reddish color in the crease to my brow bone looks smooth and well blended. 
After that, I take my liquid eyeliner and trace back over where I had the eyeshadow earlier. This just makes the whole look look a little bit more crisp and a little bit more well-defined. And if you're curious, all the products I used in this video will be listed down below. Then I went back in with that same black eyeshadow and ran a thin line along my lower lash line. It didn't appear in the image that she had a ton going on in her lower lash line and, and anything super dramatic like a pencil, so I just used the powder eyeshadow and as an aside, I apologize for the lighting disappearing. The sun went behind a cloud at this point and I didn't want to stop to try filming again later, so I just rolled with it. <laughs> the sun comes back in a moment, I promise. After that, I took a pencil brush and just blended it out so it wasn't harsh and blendy, blendy, blendy. Next, I took a volumizing mascara and applied that to my top and bottom lashes. Now you can easily skip this step but for a more dramatic look, using some false eyelashes is a ton of fun and it really makes the look pop and I'm pretty sure in a music video that she probably had false lashes going on somewhere so I just applied a thin strip of glue to my lashes and then you have to have an impromptu dance party while your lashes dry I and mean, that's like mandatory right? And once that's done, you can just pop your lashes on. These are not natural looking eyelashes, so you're not going to get a natural look with your application. Just making sure that they're actually well attached and look like they're properly attached is all we're pretty much going for. So just lay them on top of your natural lashes close to the lash line and pinch them together. Then I'm going to go in with some concealer and a brush and cover up those bad boys on my face and run a little bit along my dark circles to try and cover those suckers up. After concealer, I went in with a cream foundation. I normally never wear foundation, let alone cream, and I can't honestly say that this looks like it did much difference in person. I didn't really notice that I had any more coverage or anything, but I was trying to duplicate Cheryl's skin, and in the photos and video that I watched, her skin looked very creamy, yet highlight free. I didn't see any glitter or shimmer really going on. Now her eyebrows are much darker and more defined than mine are, so I went in with a waterproof eyeliner. Again, I'm making use of products that not necessarily intended for the purpose I'm making them work for, but they work and they last really well and it's very creamy. And I just filled in the little blank spots in my eyebrows and extended them and squared them off a tiny bit to look a little bit more along the lines of Cheryl's shape. And I know they look a little bit cray cray right at the moment, but once you run a spoolie brush through them, they will look perfectly normal, I swear. Then I'm going in with a matte bronzer. Cheryl's face is a hell of a lot more angular than mine is, and where her face goes in, mine goes out. So I'm going to use this as a little bit of a contour and to also darken up my skin because again, her skin tone is completely different from mine. I just ran a little bit along my hairline as you can see, 
and I've never seen anyone look so confused by bronzer as I just did. Uh, what the hell was I baffled by? <laughs> and then I'm running a little bit towards the back of my cheekbone and forward to give me a tiny bit of that contoured look. As I said, our face shape is completely different, so I wasn't going to try and completely remake my look, but I did want to, you know, kind of stay true to the visual image I was working off of. And after I've laid down a base along my cheeks and hairline, and by the way, it does not look muddy in real life. Blame my camera on that one. What was I saying? Oh yeah, after I laid down some base color to warm up my face a little bit, I then pinched the bristles on my brush and laid in a little bit more along my cheekbone and blended to give me again a little bit harsher contour. Then I just cleaned off my brush a little bit and went back into a matte pink blush. This looks nearly identical to the photos I'm working off of. The color of this was perfect and I was really happy about that and it also looked like she had a matte blush on. Didn't see any sparkle or shimmer in any of the photos or, any, or the video that I watched so I guess she was kicking it old school here. But I like it. It's kind of cool. And then I went in with a Kate Moss lipstick in this nice pink color. As I said, there were two colors in the video. I went for the pink color, but you could obviously swap out for a darker, more vampy red. And then once you release the hair, all of the power surges through. Impromptu dance break number two. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun doing it and I love this makeup. I hope you do too. If you try out this look, I would absolutely love to see photos of what you guys recreated. Make sure to send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram and I will like and favorite. All my links are listed down below. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Love you lots guys. Bye.